Hey everybody, Jim Perry here. Welcome to Backroads Metal Detecting. So I am near Waldorf, Minnesota right now. It is Saturday morning and there's a small group of people from Metal Detecting Minnesota and Southern Minnesota Metal Detecting getting together to metal detect at this property. I'm hearing that it's about 80 acres. We've got access to the entire property, but we are most interested in the driveway here and the woods behind us. That actually is where the farm or the entire homestead was. So as far back as for sure 1896, the aerial images are showing the farm still being there in the 1940s and in the 1950s. So we've got about seven hours to hit as much of this as possible. It sounds like it's pretty overgrown back in there. So we'll try that for a bit and then maybe hit the field here when there is time. Got my detector out and I see everyone else has started so I don't want to fall too far behind. Let's get going. So everyone's slowly been making their way across the field here where the driveway entered this property and behind me here would have been the home Windmill is still sitting there. It's a silo off to my left. Several different buildings behind me. A large barn over here. Another long barn back there. So we'll uh, head back and forth here where there's not such deep grass to see if anything turns up. Assuming there's going to be a lot of trash, but someone's going to get lucky and find something really cool today. What is thick out here? Not sure if you can even see the others that are you know, over by the silo there. Andy's just here where the house is in between all of these larger trees. So much small scrap iron cans that are all rusted out and down maybe, oh, seven or eight inches. Got an ax head broken off. Obviously why I got left behind, but a uh, nice heavy accent. I'll take that with today. That'll actually clean up really nice. It's so made my way back behind the silo here. Again, the home would have been out there. Large barn in this area. And looks like a lot of trash has been dumped back here over the years. Very, very common find for a property like this. Be an old mason jar lid. Ew, and the porcelain seal appears to not be broken. I'll take that. Very nice. There might actually be enough information on here to get an idea of how old this particular piece might be. I'm not going to take the time to do that now, but we'll take care of that later on. I don't know if you can see how thick this really is back in here. There's buckthorn everywhere, and... Obviously the trash was thrown back here behind the barn. We've actually got part of a foundation to a structure that was here. And this would be back behind the silo. Pretty open in front of me, but a huge amount of trash. So might head back over toward where the home was just ahead of me. And then off in this direction and see if there might be anything clear over there. If not, and head back to the corn crib that you might be able to see just on the other side of the woods right in there. Lots of bottles back here. Small ones that hunters must have dropped when they park back here and go hunting. But boy, I wish this was intact. That would have been really, really nice to have a massive bottle here. But unfortunately, it looks like it was broken long, long ago. No more than two or three feet away from that. I really expected to dig a few of these today. Large, large horseshoe. Very, very nice. I like that. Pretty. See what else might be back here. Might be able to see three of the guys back here. Just on the south side of the silo. Talking about some of their finds. Actually got a surface find here. There's a tremendous amount of trash back here behind where the home was. I'm not going to show all of these, but I do like these when they're intact. Actually, I can 
see for sure that there is some information on this one. Massive tree in front of me here. Just making my way around it and trying to sift through all of the trash. Clearly someone's been out here drinking because we're seeing lots of old rusted beer cans, but very old bottle opener. That actually will clean off well to be able to see what the maker is of that. Very nice. I've made my way almost all the way to the south part of where the homestead would have sat. Very old foundation here to a building. I'm gonna work my way around here. I'm really not here to do bottle digging, but there's so much trash back here and there are surface lines here. I am gonna take a few of these with me. I have some friends, Pat and Pam with Twin Diggers, that will be able to give me an idea of how old some of these are. Mason jar, Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason jar. They'll be able to tell me how old that is based on the information on the bottom there. I just don't know enough in order to be able to remember. Another old bottle here. Not sure how old that one might be. Probably not so old because the lid is still fairly intact. And then let's find this one back here in unusual shape. Very pretty little thing. And it was actually the fluorescent color that caught my eye and it also has some patent information on the bottom might be nothing but I'll haul a few of these out of here with me today and see what I might be able to find I'm not sure what the structure would have been large large stones here and then brick which makes me think that that may have been a chimney I could be completely wrong, but I'll work around the outside of this just to get a huge amount of trash, but maybe we'll get lucky. So I ran out to the truck to get one of my shirts off. It's pretty warm back in here. Switched out the XPORX, which is what I started with, for my simplex and making my way back where everyone's at here. Andy's having a little luck today. And recognize this immediately. I'm going to focus a little bit of time very close to this to see if I might be able to find any of the other parts. This is part of a very old crotal bell. I can't tell if the top would have been up here by my finger or down below, but it snapped off right in the middle there. Actually, I think it probably goes this way, and then there would have been more to the top here. But it would have been a very large chordal bell. Well, we'll see if we might be able to find more pieces of that. Either way, these are always very cool. I prefer to find them all intact, but I'll take that. Very nice. So, maybe four feet away from the first piece, I could see right away. This is another part of that crotal bell. Oh, and this might not even be the same one. Oh gosh, I so wish that this was all in one piece. Beautiful design on it. Oh man, that is pretty. Very, very cool. We'll take a look back and forth here. I found two parts, it's actually two separate bells. There has to be more here. I found my very first axe head. I'm so excited. Three seasons in and I finally got one. <laughs> that is awesome. It's heavy. You can carry that around for the next six hours too. I no, set, I set going mine. on my bag. I set mine over here. I'm not carrying it out until it's time to leave. Very nice. Congrats. Thank you. So no more luck finding any more parts of that crotal bell. This extremely difficult walking and swinging here. I'm sure there's more parts to it, but I'm just not going to take all day to be there. So I came just to the outside of where they have plowed. I've got some excuse wind. And within just a few seconds, ran into this. You don't recognize what this is. This would be part of an oxen shoe. So it's only the second one that I've ever found. And I could be completely wrong, but that, I believe, lets us know that this was a very, very old property if they were using the ox, oxen 
Father Fields. Very cool. Glad to have that today. Here's the foundation to the larger of the barns that was here. Again, a lot of trash. I might try to go back and forth around this just a little bit, but I'm not gonna waste a huge amount of time. And the silo, looks like it's been used to dump trash in as well for a very long time. So it's about one o'clock, been here four hours. Most of the people have left, but just a few left here and they're just visiting and wrapping things up before they get out of here. I've got each of my finds set up on the back of the tail bed here. Let me show you the few things that I did find today. So these are my finds. I really thought, I really know that there is a lot more out there. Grass was just far too deep to get in really close to where the home used to be and so much trash in there as well. Always finding axe heads, this one happens to be broken. Leaving with three bottles today, I'll have to do some research on each of those. Uh, second Atlas Mason jar, very, very nice. My large horseshoe, sickle bore blade, I actually found a few of those, I'm just laying one out here. My Mason jar lids with the intact liners. Shotgun shell stamp. The ox shoe, I did find a bottle opener. And then I'm going to consider my finds of the day three parts, two quarter bells, for sure two separate quarter bells, possibly even three. Many thanks to Cody for the invitation to come and detect here today. The best part of the day, though, was meeting some of the other faces from the Metal Detecting Minnesota Facebook page and Southern Minnesota Metal Detecting. So tomorrow I've got another permission that I'm heading on to that has some very old structures and an old schoolhouse. Looking very much forward to that. As always, thanks for joining me again today. Hope to see you again soon.